Nelson Mandela said, education is the most powerful weapon that you can use to change the world. Education is a weapon. It's serious. It has helped change the world and it's changed with the world. Digital, um, distant education is upon us. It's been with us for a while, we've embraced it. It's our future. It adds plenty of benefits to students, one of which is flexibility. A student can log into an online class whenever throughout the day. So if they have a busy schedule, work overnight, whatever it may be, they can still pursue their education. There's no commuting. So a student that lives in a rural area has the opportunity to take classes that they wouldn't be able to take because the university or college is too far away from them. Also, you can take it in the comfort of your own home. So you can take your classes in your pajamas if you choose. There are no physical parameters on where and when, you, wh where you need to be to log into an online class. So a student can be in South Africa or South America or both within the same semester and it's not a problem. And the instructor can do the same, can teach from wherever. Also classes that would not be able to run typically because there's not enough students to be able to, to be in the class can when it's online because it pulls from students from all over the globe that can participate in the class. Or if you have that one professor who's brilliant and is the only one that can teach one subject material, that person can teach an online class and someone from Iowa can take it. So there's many benefits to online, but there's also some drawbacks. Cheating. Cheating in on the online world happens more than you would think. Research shows that online students are four to six times more likely to cheat in an online course than a standard live course. Four to six times, why? Because nobody's watching. A student can Google the answers, they can use a textbook, they can have other friends come and help them, they can have Jimmy, who took the, the class last semester, give him the test bank because they copied and pasted it from the online class and gave it to, to Johnny. Or they can egregiously have someone take the test for them. All right, take it for them. Thanks, Bob, I'm gonna go to the bathroom and get a soda, you just finish the test for me. Worse yet, they can have that person take the whole class for them, the entire class. They're paying for the credit, they're getting the credit, but they're not earning the credit. They're not getting that education. Academic integrity is thrown out the window with cheating. So who suffers? Students suffer. Students suffer because they're not getting the education that they need. The institution that's allowing the cheating is most definitely suffering because they have, they lack the, the instructor, instructional credibility that they need to have. If someone takes a class, or if someone doesn't take a class, they cheat through the class, and they get the degree, they're walking down the street, they're, they're bragging that they, they, they got this degree from whatever university, and they don't have the education to back it up, they don't have the knowledge, that looks poorly on that university because here that person is representing them very poorly. Not only that, but it is a federal and, accredi and an accreditation requirement to uphold academic integrity. So what's being done to address cheating? Honestly, <coughs> not much. Some institutions are better than others. Some instructors take it upon themselves to be better than others. But ultimately, it's a problem. The number one thing that, that addresses cheating is making test scores, um, or sorry, is having test time, okay? So it does help a little bit because you have to be really rapid if you cheat. They also have harder questions on tests, which does help because you have to dig a little deeper. You can't just Google the, the immediate response and then boom, you're there. But if Jimmy's taking the test for Johnny, then that kind of doesn't matter. Also, you can provide the, the class to be in a paper or project-based kind of scenario which is great and argumentatively, potentially a better learning environment. However, not every class runs that way. There are certain classes that require tests and, and quizzes, such as mathematics. So what are real ways that can, be, that can tackle this cheating issue? One of which could be truly not offering the class online. Some classes are not intended to be online. They don't have that format. Public speaking, not a class that can be offered online. There are certain science classes that the labs portion requires that they, they can't take the class online. Can you imagine chemistry online? Doesn't happen. So maybe classes that are very 
quiz and test ba base should not be offered online, like mathematics. Another way, proctoring. Heaven forbid we actually require students to go to a proctor. They go to the library or any local place that they can, um, they, they can get their test proctored. There's also a webcam version where the, the camera for the laptop can, can stream. They hold up their license, they <coughs> verify that they are in fact the person that is taking the test and by the license verifying that who they are because an online instructor doesn't know what their student even looks like. So you can do that. There's also biometrics. Biometrics can allow and verify that that person is in fact you. There's fingerprinting, voice recognition, facial recognition. There is a software program that you can type and the way that you type, you actually have your own personal sig signature typing because of the way that you use the keys. So if you're taking an essay exam and you're typing, they know the entire time it's you. There's also a surveillance system that's a 300, 300, or 360 degree um, device that goes around and scans and can determine whether or not you leave the room, someone else enters, you use your phone, you use a textbook, or you use an, another browser. And it locks the computer down. And then it sends a video snip to a, a human proctor that can review it and determine whether or not cheating is actually happening. So things can be done to help remedy this academic integrity issue, but it is one. Now let's look at a standalone class. Let's say an average live class. You're the teacher, you're the instructor. You're in there and Johnny's cheating off of Billy blatantly or, there, or Johnny's going into his, his backpack and pulling out notes. You're gonna bust them. You're gonna be like, no, uncalled for, can't happen. But when it's in the online world, either people don't know about it, people don't care about it, or they're turning a blind eye and all three are inappropriate no matter what. So we need to raise the standard. Education, it's a weapon. Whether it's distance education or any other kind of education, it's a weapon and it should be taken seriously. So let's not make a joke out of it. Thank you. Oh.